Hey everyone, welcome to November Favorites. I have a ton, um, they are all over the place, hence I've written them down and um, we're just gonna jump in. So let's talk about this first, because this is the first favorite. I always have a notebook with me in either on my desk, in my purse, unless I'm carrying a tiny purse. And I decided to upgrade my notebook to this guy. This is from Erin Condren. It's a hardbound notebook. I feel very grown up and elegant with it. Look, it even you can even get your name or whatever you want stamped on there. And yes, it doesn't help that you have makeup all over your fingers as you're writing down notes. So this is a problem. But it comes in all kinds of colors. You don't have to get it personalized. And it's very slim and I love that it opens and it stays open and you know flat and I love the lines anyway so that's my first favorite and I have all kinds of like what do you write in here Marnie well things like um my list of decorations that I want for each room in the house so when I go shopping I have measurements and areas that I'm looking to add things to it's very handy it's how I stay organized meeting notes and things like that and November favorites. So let's jump in. Let's talk about two accounts that were favorites for this month. The first is an Instagram account called things. It's all dots. I'll list it all below in the order in which I'm discussing this, by the way, if you're new to my channel in the description box, I list everything, link everything that I can. Um, yes, they are affiliate links. That's all explained below. Um, and I always do it in the order in which I mention it. So it's easier for you to find it. So it's called Things I Bought and Liked. She is an Instagram account. You never see her face. You never hear her voice. Um, most of the stuff that she's showing you are ingenious finds on Amazon. Like I watched, I followed all of her story highlights and all of her posts for like three hours the other night. Obsessed. Her captions are hysterical. So if you love Amazon or you just love cool gadgets or things for the house or whatever, you've got to follow her account. And if you have a thing against like dupes, like she finds a lot of dupes for luxury items. If that bothers you or offends you, skip this account. But if that doesn't bother you or it doesn't matter, then you're really gonna enjoy this. And I'm sorry because you will end up spending a small fortune on Amazon following her account. The other account I've been following for a while, but really in love, like uh, just love what she's putting out lately, more so than ever, is Allie Glines over on YouTube. She doesn't need me. I mean, she's huge. She's very talented makeup artist. She's young, she's 24, but she is so, um, composed and well-spoken. Her voice is so calming. She really talks you through um, what she's doing and why she's doing it. Really enjoy her tutorials. The last video I just did on Tuesday, that whole look, that was not my look. I copied her look. It was her drugstore bridal look. I will link her video that I followed in the description box. So I just love her stuff. She uses high end, but she also uses a ton of drugstore stuff. So everything for every budget. Okay, let's jump into makeup. My go-to foundation combo complexion, I'd say, thing for November was these two. This is not a stranger to my channel. First, it's the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I wear it in the shade one. This does have a little bit of coverage to it, so if you have flawless skin, um, this could be all you need, and maybe a little concealer, and you're good to go. It gives me a luminosity. It pairs well under any foundation that needs like a little kick in the dewiness radiance factor, or if you're feeling ill and dehydrated, this is good. And obviously, it pairs incredibly well under this guy. This is her magic foundation, and I wear this in the shade too. And this is what I have on my face today. On my lips, is another favorite. I've been a huge fan of these Clinique lipsticks since they came out, but um, a new color to me is the Blush Pop shade, which is also what I have on. This apparently was available in the UK for forever, and they finally brought it to the United States. Thank you, Clinique. I don't know why they would not, whatever. Another beauty favorite is uh, this guy. It looks like nothing. It's the Laura Mercier Secret Blurring Powder, and it's like a pressed, not like, it is a pressed powder. It looks like nothing. I mean, it feels very silky, but it, I mean, barely just, anyway. How I use this is I take a flat, uh, I use the Real Techniques setting brush, which is small and kind of fluffy and flat, and I just press it in here, and then after I do my concealer, I press it under here and under here, and then I also do it, where else a wrinkle is along here and here. Will it make your wrinkles completely disappear? Of course not. But does it help blur them? Yes. It also helps to make sure you like scoop out anything sitting in the trough first and then pat that on. Another beauty favorite I have to mention, it's kind of a beauty favorite. It's the, 
I don't know why I opened it. The Beauty Blender Solid, but the Pro version, first of all, it's humongous. Second of all, it's everything you need to clean. Like, I hate cleaning my brushes. This, I just keep on my um, vanity next to the sink and pretty much every day and just, just, watch, just swish them through, clean. It smells amazing. It has charcoal and lavender in here. Somehow that speeds up the process of the cleaning and the drying and all that stuff. So if you have not tried or splurged on the Solid Pro version and you're debating, is it worth it? So worth it. Another favorite, because I've been ill all month, Still working on getting my voice fully back. Cough is almost gone. I've been doing a lot of mouth breathing. So <laughs> I've been obviously having to fight against getting very chapped lips. And this little thing has kept that going. It's the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. And I keep this in my bedside table. I put it on first before I go to bed at night. And again, I put it on in the morning. Um, you don't need to do it twice, but when you're dealing with the cold, I just have been slathering it on. And what I love about it, and this really is just silly, but it comes with this little tiny silicone spatula to scoop it out and put it on your lips. And then this little plastic envelope. I just, I don't know. It's the little things that make me happy. Nail polish favorite for this month. Y'all have been asking about my nails. It's this, it's the, the shade is Zoya Danica, like the race car driver. And it's what I have on eight out of my 10 nails. I did do an accent shade on these. That's not what you're asking about, I think. It's this one. I've had this polish on for three weeks. I have not added a top coat or anything. I did break this one. But um, they, it still stays pretty shiny. And um, it is also the, happens to be the shade of my son's high school football team. So I've kept it on through the end of the season and into playoffs. I didn't want to take it off. I was superstitious. Just a little life update. Shane's team did make it to the playoffs. They made it to the second round and they lost very badly to the number three ranked team in the state. So it was a bad loss, but not really because that team can make it all the way to state. So if you're gonna lose to someone, lose to Judson. More makeup favorites. I've mentioned this a ton, but I need to mention it again because it's just such a great palette. It's so affordable and I do reach for it over all the new ones I just bought. It's the Milani Bold Obsessions palette. I mean, just look at that packaging. $15 at Walmart. Currently, I am wearing, I'm wearing it, and I'm wearing this column. Basically, this whole column is what I've got going on with a little bit of these two in the crease as well. Another favorite, I'd say this is a beauty favorite, is a re-release from Aveda. It's their Cherry Almond line. I have the shampoo and the conditioner. The smell alone is worth buying this for. But also this is a softening shampoo and conditioner and it's the only one I've tried that softens my hair but doesn't weigh it down and get rid of the volume. So I love this and the smell, the smell is everything. So let's talk about these earrings, which I love. You also saw these in my recent Nordstrom video. These are the double pearl earrings from Kate Spade. I don't know if they're still on sale, but they're about $31, $32. So very reasonable. I like these better than just a basic pearl stud all by itself. I think these are really fun and obviously very budget friendly. And then I'm wearing this with another favorite. I'll insert um, a picture of this as well. This was a gift from Lagos and it is from Lagos and it is a pearl kind of solitaire necklace. I just love, again, I'm a big fan of pearls because both my, boys, it's the birthstone for June. Both my boys are born in June. We are married in June. There's a lot going on in June in my family. So I love a pearl, anything. Um, I love the combo of gold and silver on here. There's a lot of detail on this that just makes it a little more unique. And even the clasp, there's two places to hook it in to make it longer or shorter, depending on how, whatever, how you want to wear it. And the second clasp on here is, a, is shaped like a little heart. Just all those little details. I love Lagos. Other accessories that are far more affordable than this necklace are these earrings that I got from Bobble Bar. They come in a set of three for the holidays. I don't know what they're called, but you saw these in my, I think, Thanksgiving uh, Black Friday video. This one is twisting on me, but they're very lightweight. They're beads, lots of little tiny beads, and then like faux leather on the back to kind of hold it all together. Um, I love that these are a big earring that weigh nothing. So I have the set comes with this rose gold copper one, this baby pink one. I don't know if you can tell how baby pink it is. And then these white ones. And I like them so much that I also got them in this glass beaded version. I just got them in this 
beautiful red, which is great for the holidays. Also great for red weekend during the Ole Miss football season. You know I gotta get football in at some point. That would be twice. And then I have to mention this. Oh, I love this. This fuzzy, wubbly pullover, I think it's called. This is from the brand Thread and Supply, but there are 8 million knockoffs or other versions of it. There's a hoodie version. I prefer the pullover. I live in this. I love it. I don't sleep in it, but um, that's about that's the only place I haven't worn it. It's not lined with the same stuff. It's like a t-shirt material on the inside, So, but it's really... It's like wearing a hug. I just love it. And if you're a dog walker, it's just like the perfect dog, like taking your dog out, running to the dog park, whatever kind of thing to throw over your clothes. Love this. Need to mention some book favorites. So this is probably not the best written series ever, but sometimes you just need mindless. Well, let's face it, that's all I read is mindless, but these are especially mindless. It's a mystery series by Maggie Sefton. It's the knitting mystery series. It's set in Colorado, and it focuses around a knitting shop and the people that kind of congregate there. I don't knit. I don't even really want to learn how to knit. I don't like cold weather. I don't know what, it, I don't know, but I still like this little series. There's, I think, 16 books in it, so it's kind of one of those things where if you get anxiety because you've finished a book and you don't have something to read next, that I'm that person, and they're available online at my library, so I've just been working my way through the series. I think I'm on book five or six, also, a new release, if you remember the Canesville series from Kelly Armstrong, the Omens series, she released fairly recently a new book in that series, in that world, I should say. It's um, called Portents, 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 and um, it's a it's set in the Canesville world, but it's short stories and novellas with those characters. So it's not really part of the series, but it's those characters. So if you're missing those characters and you want to go back to Canesville, check out Portens. And then another release from a favorite author, Charlene Harris, has started a new series, and I wrote it down. It is the Gunny Rose series, and the first book in the series is called An Easy Death, and that was a fun read, and I'm looking forward to reading more of the series, so I will list that one below as well. And then the last highlight favorite of not just November, but my entire football mother experience, just have to give another shout out to Shane. The last regular game of the season, his senior year, his last real official game was televised. How cool is that? And Shane scored a touchdown. Kind of a big deal. Kind of a big deal. It was on television, and I will just insert that clip right now. You trying to buy some time. Nice job finding the guy over the middle. How about that? Just walking into the end zone. For the Reagan Rattlers is number 89, and that is Shane Goldberg, the senior. I know Coach was going to get a lot of the seniors in tonight, and a great job by Goldberg. It's just such, it, it, it was just such an amazing moment as a parent to see your child, I mean, just scoring a touchdown at that level is, it's a big deal. And they got it at his last game, his official last game that was on TV. It just, it was icing on the cake for a wonderful, oh my gosh, how long have I been a football mom? I don't know, a really long time, over a decade. Uh, Shane's football career is over, and my identity as a football mom apparently is over as well. So we'll be exploring new things to do to fill up my time. Anyway, I hope, so that is not a favorite. I am not, I am sad to say goodbye to all of that stuff. But can't wait to see what the next chapter entails. You gotta be optimistic. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me for November. December, I just need to point out, I am not doing Vlogmas this year. I am enjoying my time being kind of private again, somewhat. But I will still be uploading three days a week. That is it now. I'm going to say goodbye. My voice is shot and I need to go get some something hot, maybe some apple cider. Wishing you all well. Can't wait for December and all the fun that entails. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.